The bullet is coated with Teflon, and as we saw in this recent NBC story, an armor-plated bulletproof vest was no match for it. Went right through. It went through the vest. And into the phone books. And burrowed deep into the phone book stacked behind. If it had been a person, it would have gone through the vest, through him, through the back of the vest, and possibly through a couple of more people behind. There's hardly any damage to There's the slug no damage itself. to the slug itself, and that's the penetration power. With that kind of destructive power, you'd think the state of Virginia would want Teflon bullets outlawed altogether. But interestingly, only the state Senate has taken that stand. This past week, the House of Delegates voted to forbid the malicious use of Teflon bullets, but not their possession. These bullets really seem to have no legitimate purpose. Suffolk delegate Samuel Glasscock tried to convince his colleagues to restrict more severely the availability of Teflon bullets. But it does appear we could at least go as far as banning manufacture, sale, purchase, distribution, or bring them into the state. But the House of Delegates, sensing pressure, Glasscock believes, from the gun lobby, refused to go along. Well, I think that people are aware that there are hunters out there and some NRA members uh, that may oppose the amendment we were, were offering. Glasscock hopes the state Senate's much tougher stand will prevail in the end. Policemen and government officials like President Reagan, who wear bulletproof vests, uh, must hope so too. To have these kind of devastating bullets around uh, is, is a potential disaster just waiting to happen. Jewel Rubin, The Daily News.